Hey guys, Seltzer here. Today we are playing through What Never Was. It is apparently a pretty short puzzle game about exploring through your grandfather's attic. It looked pretty fun, so I thought I'd give it a go. Hey mom, where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. What is that in her hand? All right. Don't know what that was in our hand there. Trees outside. Enter its inspection object. Click the left mouse. Uh, these books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. Alright. Some old maps or something it looks like. Maps. Lots of maps. Phonograph. To interact to write maps. Nice. Enough of that. We'll turn that off for now. It looks like a torn out page. Picked up a journal page. Necklace. Oh, that's what it was. A necklace I got from Grandpa when I turned 10. He joked that it was magical and that it would keep me safe from monsters and such under my bed. And I believed him for the longest time. I've worn it since, and now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. Student ID from my school. I'm still not quite sure if studying botanics and biology is right for me. God knows mom doesn't think so. But I like nature, and I like the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet and winning the Nobel Prize or something. Or setting up a flower shop. You know, whichever. Also, not the best picture, but yeah, that's me. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pele and Hariyakwa happen to be in the mountains. The trek has gone well, and although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival has proved invaluable, not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge in his company. Not unexpectedly, this symbol of water can be found at the peak of the summit along with the alchemic symbol of water. Again, the symbols seem interconnected, and while one set are alchemic symbols known to many people, the others seem strange and of no cultural design that at least I am knowledgeable of. The encounter on Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find on this mountain? Alright, so we're looking for journal pages and also items that have to do with the elements. Oh! Grandpa's old travel diary! Seems like a few pages are missing. It's a banker's lamp. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Alright. That just moves back and forth. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. It's Grandpa on one of his expeditions. He sure was adventurous. Aw, it's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. <laughs> a desk drawer. An there, open desk drawer. Ah, journal hmm. page. What's this? Uh, 
Number five. Elfstone, also sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore, normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their fathers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of a true Elfstone is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for carved in a way that no average jeweler could, and with ore in place of where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm, and I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, though. I must study it thoroughly. So the Elfstones, the only context I have for those is um, Sword of Shannara. But it'd be interesting if we can find that in here. It's seeming now like there might be something to do with it's locked. the Fae. Fairies or something. It's locked. It's locked. It's, it's locked. Whole thing's locked. Alright. There we go. An open desk drawer. Okay. I guess those papers aren't really of importance. It's, it's locked. It's, it's, lo it's locked. Alright. Oh. Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. It sounded okay to me, but I don't know about string instruments. Celtic Myths and Legends. Fairies. By Brian Froud and Alan Lee. I guess he's got two copies of that same book, then. Alright, well. Let's continue. These books are all so old. Hey, dude. Is that the biography of George Lucas? This is awfully dark. Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. Right. What a globe. Huh. Grandpa sure had some cool stuff that I've never seen. Oh, so it's got the... Hey, so this is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. So that's the fire symbol, which I would assume is associated with Pele. That should be water. Paria... Pariacaca, South America. And that looks like a drop of water. And then, would this be wind? Shu, Egypt. And a symbol of a... swirl? <laughs> Sang China, and a symbol of a tree. So that would be air and earth. All right. So I bet there's journal pages associated with those as well. A tape recorder. I'll turn off the music before I play that. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter. Sarah Elizabeth Wright. And so if anyone else is listening and they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up. My little pixie, remember our grand moments, all the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it... it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, 
in every breath of wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Aww. Goodbye, Grandpa. All right. So that's a different twist than I thought there would be. I can only assume that he's uh, been involved in some sort of supernatural magic type stuff. Kind of like the uh, the guy in the first Narnia book. Oh, man. You know what I mean. My old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. A station. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Why is Mr. Piggles in the attic? Oh goodness. Alright. Well, this is a pretty small attic. I thought it would be a little bigger for what it is. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. Alright. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck give him? So that's got the alchemical symbols here. Grandpa loved this thing. Told me it was one of a kind. Although, he never actually told me why. Don't tell me. It's a fillery. A typewriter. A torn out page. Wonderful. Let's see what we got. Number one. I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin my arduous climb of Mauna Loa. I'm not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Regardless, I am here, and will spend the coming days in the village of pa Pahala. Never seek its Pele, goddess of fire holds. It is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place. Although I am weary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I have also noticed the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but is it linked to the crest I've sought as well? Perhaps. Ooh. It's a lamp, or the typewriter. Can't imagine it's been used much. Grandpa was always the fountain pen type. It's a chessboard, with the game already in progress. Celtic myths and legends. Hmm. I've got a lot of books, but I don't think any of them seem to be very useful. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. Huh. Nah. -uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. I get the reference, but also. An old bicycle. <laughs> If it belongs to your grandfather, it's it's a bit late. Oh, there's a key. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. Hmm. A desk drawer. There we go. Oh. All right. An open desk drawer. So is that a fountain pen or a spyglass? Spyglass and a compass with a map. I guess that's not helpful. An open desk drawer. Some blank pages. There we go. Hmm. What's this? Journal photograph. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says, Sultan Hassan Mosque Madrasa, Egypt, 1966. It must have been from one of his trips. And we got page four. All I've worked for. It's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference, and now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up, and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time, time to learn what's behind these strange connections and events. Nothing there. And then nothing there. Alright, what about the other side? Wow. Hmm. This tin box looks fairly old. 
and has a combination lock on it. I'm looking for a word with it's five locked. letters. So let's try. Some An open desk drawer. More maps. There we go. This looks like one of the diary pages. That should be the last one. The alchemical symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one for tree. While well, the trip has yet again gone well, and my research has once again led me to these symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I spent most of my life researching these mythological connections, yet again I reach my destination, and nothing. Almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay, years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am so close to finding some... Alright. see, nothing in the bottom two, probably. Well, let's see. Pele. Trimalna. What could the combination be? Fire might fit. No. Air. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here, it's locked. Well, we'll give it a change from the music we have been listening to. It's something. Hmm. I don't think any of the words in the journals match up with those letters. Got it. Sarah. What could the combination be? Which I think is the girl's name here, is Sarah. Yep. It's just her name. <laughs> it's a little easier than I thought it would be. Sure, that would be it. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Yeah, enough of that. Any answers, Mr. Pig? Yeah. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Okay. No? Pop that back up. So what order did he visit these places in then? So let's see, Hawaii Fire. What did the message say again? The message? From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame. Alright. So from the tallest tree. The deepest river, wind, and fire. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Alright. This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Whoa! Please. Alright, so now we have a whole necklace. So, update, I guess. When I managed to open Grandpa's globe, I found another piece of the necklace. And when I look through it, I see things that aren't there and stuff glows. What the hell is going on? Am I crazy? Whoa. Oh. Serious whoa. Don't like this. So, this. That's what I thought, as far as that goes. So, we're gonna have to line those up, probably. Um don't like that. Not super a fan of the fairy realm. But uh, that's, 
That's great. That's fine. So now that's glowing. These are different. Pixie. Right? Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Ornamental. Great. Because. With the fairy realm is exactly what you should be doing here. Cool. Here we go. And we'll just look with our special fairy eyes. Go fire, water, earth, air. Wonderful. Let's see. Aren't these triangles in the journal pages? Yes. This hand is a triangle facing outwards. It won't budge. It won't budge. Oh. So that's... Fire, water, earth. So this is earth. And earth is... at the bottom. Right? Okay. That's that one sorted. All right. Now let's do fire, which is on the 10, I think. No, it's on the 11. All right. Next is water, which is. Eight. And last but not least, two o'clock. Moon phases too. Interesting. Okay. So I need to set these hands correctly. I'm working on it. Place. Was that it? Did I do it? Oh, great. I tried to say don't with the fairy realm. Alright. That was the first time I traveled by magic. Pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. So we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure. The one that never was. But that is a longer story. For another time. Alright. It was short but sweet. So that was that was interesting, short but sweet. Um, I would have liked it to be longer. I would have liked to know what the consequences of unlocking that clock were and traveling by magic. Um, because clearly that was something that her grandfather spent a lot of time researching. I think it would have been interesting to have the notes be a little more clear about what his goal was here as, as far as unlocking the clock, utilizing magic. Obviously he had a lot of like fairy themed books lying around, but he doesn't seem to have actually unlocked any magic, so I'd be curious to know how he learned about it and how he got to, to knowing that the clock was magical, you know? Anyway, uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, it is on Steam. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye!